Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hey, hi, hello there. How's it going? I am the Grand Master, and I also go by D Ray, bringing you the week one of the UNPL, where today we take on J Scurf in an epic week one matchup. If you're excited for it, do me the massive favor and shadow claw that thumbs up button. And if you're new, por favor, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications, hit the bell button so you get notified every single time we post a new video. We're gonna talk about the team guys and hop right on into it. I, <laughs> I'm knocking off the rust. Man, I'm so excited to be playing Pokemon. You have no idea. This is, I wouldn't want to start my day any other way. So without further ado, oh, before we get into it, made myself some new graphics. I'm very proud of them. Leave a comment down below what you guys think. Here we go. The matchup is up on screen here. Up up top of the screen is my opponent. Our team is right here to the left or to the right, depending on, are you watching this? <laughs> so we have the Winnipeg Jet Punches, which is piloted by Jay Scurf. He's got Dragapult. That's nuts. <laughs> He's got Dragapult, the Hisuian Samurai, Heatran, Screamtail, Zapdos, Ursa Luna, Hitmonlee, Sinistra, Knacklestack, Toxapex, and Quaxwell. The middle stage evolution of Quaxwell Vol. His Terra Captains are listed underneath. Hitmonlee, Sinistra, and Knacklestack are his three terastalization captains, which means those are the only Pokemon that are able to terastalize. And they're only able to terastalize in one of three types that were dedicated to them. Hitmonlee can go into Fighting Dark Electric, Sinistra gets Grass Fairy Steel, and Knacklestack gets Rock Fairy and Dragon. Our team is off to the side, if you did indeed forget. So, a couple different things to note about the matchup. He doesn't have very good removal. The only Rapid Spinner that he has is Quaxwell. Outside of Hitmonlee, and because it's his Terrestrialization Captain, I don't see him running Rapid Spin. It's probably going to be like a Sweeper set if he wants to finish off the game that way. So I want to take advantage of that. That's going to be a huge thing. Zapdos is always a threat, but the main cause of concern is not Dragapult. It's Ursa fucking Luna. The bear is a problem. <laughs> the bear is a fucking... It's not a good time to switch into, so we have to be a little bit creative, kind of, a little bit. We have a Zorark, so we'll see what happens. Smile. <laughs> the Pokemon I think are going to come are the... Uh, Dragapult, the Hisuian Samurai, because that Pokemon sets up spikes automatically, busted Asmon. I loved it when I had it. I think that Heatran does show up as well. Zapdos should come, Ursa Luna, and then the sixth Pokemon, I would assume, is either going to be Hitmonlee, because it's a Terra Captain, or Toxapex. Honorable mentions, he could bring the Sinistra because Sinistra is pretty good with Terra. We banned it in the BBR from Terra, so I think it's a pretty good terrestrialization captain. I don't see really anything else coming, to be completely honest with you. If, if it does, I'd be caught off guard a little bit, but at the same time, we did prepare for everything. First Pokemon that's going to be showing up is the main part of the game plan. It's Cheap Cheap. Cheap Cheap making a return. We have Cool Fish with the Custad Berry. We're running Flip Turn, Spikes, Destiny Bond and endure very cool pokemon to lead off this is the dedicated lead in 90 percent of instances we have intimidate to be able to come in and reduce attack which can be pretty handy for things like the ursaluna dragapult the lead possibility of hisui and samurai which could be very nice 228 in hp allows us to be super duper bulky we are the jolly nature so we're trying to outspeed some stuff actually you know what this is not the jolly nature that's a mistake. I believe this is a plus defense nature. I want to say. Let's see. Real quick. It is a impish nature. So I did mess that part up. I didn't fix that. Off to a great start. <laughs> it's an impish nature, which is a plus defense nature with a minus special attack nature. So it's a little bit bulkier on the defensive side, which is really nice. And the rest we kind of piled up on Spideth. The EVs, though, are correct. It's just the nature that was incorrect. The idea behind this is to be able to lead, scout, flip turn out if I need to after I set up one singular spike. The one singular spike is going to go a long way. If I can get two or three, that would be just icing on the cake, but primarily we want to prioritize spikes, just one. If I can get a cheeky 
endure um destiny bond off to eliminate a threat like the ursa luna that would be top tier he couldn't he couldn't be enticed you know teased a little bit you know caress i guess you should say <laughs> to bring the ursa luna in on this water moves from cool flesh are going to bounce off of ursa luna and it would drop to a headlong rush or to an earthquake so if he does want to do that i can get a destiny bond and take down the bear that would be really nice or the dragon pole that would be kind of nice too i ain't complaining Next Pokemon that we're bringing is going to be Zorark Hisui. This is the switch into Ursa Luna. We're running the Air Balloon. Being the normal and the ghost typing, we're immune to its dual stabs, which is Chef's Kiss. We're running Hyper Voice, um, Shadow Ball, Grass Knot, and the Nasty Plot. Mysterio's got 80 in defense, 252 special attack, 176 in speed, running the Timid Nature. This is enough speed to outspeed the Zapdos by one point, which would be kind of clutch. The air balloon allows us to be immune to the ground type moves on the very first time as long as we can maintain the air balloon as long as humanly possible. Zorar can continue coming in on Ursa Luna. We're going to disguise this thing as Chin Pao. Spoilers, Chin Pao is coming. So if Ursa Luna comes in, we're going to bring in Zorar, allow a free switch because you'll see that it'll have, well he'll see after clicking one of his stabs, that he can't touch us. And the threat of Chin Pao will force a switch. In that case, we'll click Nasty Plot and get a gargantuan hit off of something. Depending on the time of the matchup and time during the game, it could net us a knockout, which could be super duper clutch. Um, Grass Knot is primarily there for the Ursa Luna. The dual stabs hit everything else on the team, which is very good. Next up we're bringing is that aforementioned Chin Pao. We have Excalibur. <laughs> Icicle Crash, Ice Shard, Sacred Sword, and Psychic Fangs. We got 252 in attack, max attack, Adam in nature, with the rest in speed to outspeed a Jolly or Timid max speed um, Screamtail. And the only Pokemon that outspeeds us is going to be the Dragapult, which takes super effective damage from Ice Shard. And being the Adam in nature plus the Expert Belt, it's going to do gargantuous amounts of damage. It actually it does so so much so if i were to pull up i actually don't have the calc off the top of my head but a dragapult just a standard dragapult set like if it's a choice spec set right i sure does 87 percent minimum which is why those spikes are going to be so so important ice school crash is going to be our stab of choice because it allows us to not make contact with things like the zapdos Things like the Heatran that want to come in, that way we can kind of avoid the burns or the static paras, which would be very unfortunate to happen, so I really hope it doesn't. <laughs> Sacred Sword is there for super effective damage on a last minute basis for the Heatran specifically. And Psychic Fangs is there for Toxapex in case that Pokemon does come. Everything else gets hit by Ice Cold Crash either neutrally or super effectively. And Sacred Sword and Psychic Fangs are super effective against those mons that are resistant to ice, which is clutch. Next mon up we have is Feraligator. Feraligator is going to be our Terra Captain this week. Um, we're going to let Belly Bolt chill on the bench for this one. We want to go a little bit more offensive because he has a very good and offensive team. So we have to counter the offense with offense. We're running Liquidation, Ice Punch, Psychic Fangs, Dragon Dance. This is here to break the team. The win con is Chin Pao. This is here to smoke stuff. I make contact with all of the Pokemon that we don't want to make contact with. With the Zapdos and the Heatran. The idea is to get in for Alligator as soon as humanly possible. Set up a Dragon Dance if possible. Click Liquidation boosted by Terra Water. Or Ice Punch for the Zapdos because it does do it. It does. Sorry. Or uh, Ice Punch on the Dragapult because Terra Water Liquidation does a little bit less than Ice Punch. So that's why we have that. Psychic Fangs is there for that. Um, Toxapex. Life Orb, Life Orb gives you a 30% boost to its attack plus Sheer Force giving you another 30% boost to your attack on top of not taking the recoil damage because of the Sheer Force ability from the Life Orb. For alligator is going to go in, baby. We're running 250, 228 in attack, 252 in speed, and the Jolly Nature. I believe that this was to outspeed something naturally. I want to say it was the Hitmon Lee that it outsped naturally. 87 base speed because for alligator is base 78 speed. No. It outsped something. But the Dragon Dance, we'll do those calcs in the matchup, but it is very specific to something. But this is here to break and cripple the team as much as humanly possible before it goes down. 
Next up, we have this great task, aka Bedrock. Um, shout out if you know that if you know that song. I'm an old head man. We have Headlong Rush, Close Combat, Stone Edge, and Rapid Spin. With Protosynthesis boosted, uh, with the booster energy in Protosynthesis, I should say we have enough attack, enough attack after one singular spike to completely obliterate an Oko, a max Fizz Death Toxapex. <laughs> after one spike, Headlong Rush smokes the motherfucker. Close Combat is there for the Heatran. After one singular spike, Close Combat also obliterates a max HP Ursa Luna. That's why this spike is so fucking important. We have to keep it up as, as best we possibly can. Stone Edge is there primarily for the Zapdos because it does resist the close combat and it's immune to headlong rush. Stone Edge is super effective and it didn't want to go Icicles, um, Ice Spinner because it gives me that chance for the Static Para or on the Heat Trend coming in if he's a crazy person. Then he brings in Heatran and I can get that Flame Body Burn, which will not be ideal. And at least Stone Edge is neutral against Heatran, which is really nice. And Rapid Spin is there to remove hazards on our side of the field, as well as prioritize, giving us a speed boost on Great Tusk. That way we can outspeed Dragapult and catch that thing off guard and hit it really fucking hard with a headlong rush. Great Tusk is here to do an immense amount of damage. This is more of an offensive set this week. We had 204 in attack, 64 in defense, and 240 in speed. This one is the one that outspeeds the uh, hit only naturally. With its natural physical uh, physical bulk, I think we'll be able to live a lot of, not a lot of hits, but we'll live a hit from the Ursa Luna on an emergency status. So at least we have that in our back pocket. And the last up we have is Pheasantipity. Pheasantipity doo da. I love that. <laughs> Pheasantipity is running player of U turn, roost, and taunt. This is here for Dragapult. If Dragapult is alive, Pheasantipity will make sure that it keeps in, it, it keeps at bay. We have the heavy duty boots primarily, even though we do have rapid spin. Just in case we can get the heavy and get the hazards off our side of the field, we can live some calcs. We can live some hits. We have 248 HP, 156 in defense, 100 in speed. This is to be able to taunt stuff, which would be really nice. We're running the Jolly Nature. Taunt is there to stop setup from the Hitmon Lee, which would be really nice. To stop setup from the Sinistra, which would be really nice. Toxapex. We're faster than a no speed Scream Tail, is what that speed was for. So we can stop any kind of setup or annoying shenanigans that the Scream Tail wants to go for. U turn is going to be the primary button that we click. This is going to be our dedicated not only Dragapult check, but pivot in general because Roost is going to give us some longevity which is really nice and U-turn paired off with this broken ass ability in Toxic Chain giving it a 30% chance to badly poison the opponent is going to be nice. So we do want to capitalize on that. And Fezendipity, I need you to hold up on Dragapult baby, come on. <laughs> I need you to keep that thing at bay. Let's get it guys. We're ready for the battle. We're nervous. We have our Celsius. It's early in the morning. I'm hype. Let's play some Pokemon. I'll see you guys in the matchup. All right, peeps, we're in the battle. Let's get it popping. Let's see what he brings. He brought the Sinistra. We thought we said that we said that they could have. We have Sinistra. We got Zap. We got Tran. We have Scream. Why is Scream Tail here? That's interesting. This is not the team I thought he was bringing. Where's Samurai? Where the fuck? Anyway, uh, <laughs> Ursula. Should big shout out to my opponent. Link to his channel will be in the description below. Please go to his side after you watch this battle. Watch his perspective, right? So we're gonna just maintain the same. Uh, he's probably gonna want to lead Sinistra and just do the, do the thing to us. Um, if that's the case, I'm gonna have to pivot from there. But he does have to. Oh, you know what? So six slot is Excalibur. First, I do want to put the second slot. So we're gonna withdraw you and put you second, and then you enter. So you're first, you're second, fifth. You withdraw. I'm just gonna do this over. I have 30 seconds. Um, I almost fucked up the Zoroar thing. Um, if he wants to lead Sinistra and do, and do the thing to us, you know, we'll pivot from there. But um, yeah, yeah, that's all we got, guys. Uh, let's shake off the rust. Let's get it. Are you afraid of the dark? Are you scared? <laughs> Oh! 
All right, the team. All right, team. Battle begins. Sorry about that. Um, came in a little bit late on there. So he leads the Zapdos, which is unfortunate. It looks like my Elgato is gonna have some problems this matchup, which hopefully doesn't become too much of a distraction, because um, that would be quite annoying. Um, we could just take a. We could. The only reason this thing is here is to take a, take a hit here and get up some spikes. Uh, there's no way for him to remove them, so I do want to prioritize this. It does allow me to figure out what the hell this thing is, so I am just going to go ahead and get up a spike. If I can get rid of the Zapdos with the Destiny Bond, that would be top tier. <laughs> you know, honestly, sometimes it's just the fucking game. I This is how we start the season. Cheers, everybody! Salud! Woo! <laughs> That was really bad, by the way. Why? Because I was supposed to get up a spike there, live the hit, get the destiny bond off with the cuss that berry and kill the Zapdos. So I'd have been able to have a spike up with the dead Zapdos. And if it wasn't a dead Zapdos, I could have got another spike up. But that is so bad for us. Um, we're just gonna get in champ click a button. I'm, that sucks. <laughs> you know, but sometimes it's just the game we play. We don't get our spike. It, it is what it is, you know? That is game changing and quite annoying. I'm just gonna get an ice school crash off. Um, if he wants to be crazy and stand in, I'm just gonna click. I'm just gonna click a button. That's crazy, man. I, that sucks. That's really unfortunate. You know, what can you do? Shake it off, boy. If you got me feeling naughty, I guess it's just Pokemon for you. That's just Pokemon for you. Zap, KO, Quillfish. Cool Crazy, craziness, craziness, craziness. If he has a, if he's a crazy man and he wants to stay in here, um, I should be doing a metric fuck ton to it regardless. I don't know if he is a, um, a thing, a fucking, I'm upset. <laughs> you know, how much damage does this do? Probably a bunch, right? Scream tail, it's probably max fizz death. That's still two hit kills. Fucking chin pal, bro. This mon is quite excellent. Um. I could go into La Toxica, and I think I'm going to. Man. Who's upset? Me! <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is me. I told I told my team. I was like, hey, listen, guys. This season, I'm going to try my best to be as entertaining as I can when I'm tilted. And I'm very tilted. You can see the vein on my fucking forehead, bro. Let's smile. We take it with a smile. <clears throat> God, Champel, you're fucking disgusting. That did so much damage. It's now a two at KO, by the way, when he comes back in. <sighs> Goes for a wish. All right. So he's got a wish on this thing. Uh, wish scream tail. Okay. Uh, I should just U-turn here. Yeah, let's just U-turn. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. He's probably gonna wanna wish again. He's probably just the wish set to pass and keep his team healthy, which is fine. And if that's the case, I'm gonna click Taunt. So it's gonna allow us to facilitate what we wanted to do in the first place. And it'll tell us if we are indeed faster than it. And if he's a if he's a wish set, I don't think he's gonna be like Tim and Max Speed. He should just be like a bulky set. So we taunt something. Now he switches, which is just to get his screen tail healthy, I guess. Go for a taunt, get up, can't get up rocks. That's good stuff. Am I faster than Heatran? Pretty sure I don't know. I'm so upset still. I just want you guys to know that. I don't want to risk a burn on this to get chip damage. Um, TikTok won't want to take a lava plume, but we can take one. He could Earth Power if he wants to. I'm going to be faster regardless, so I'd rather just switch hard. Because I'm going to be faster than this thing. I risk a Flame Body Burn on Pheasantipity. If he's Max Timid, uh, he does 36 Max with a Magma Storm to this thing. Oh, and he misses. 
that's not let I do want to let the record show that does not suffice for the for the fucking crit. The crit was huge. The crit did not let me get up a spike. The crit didn't let me take down the Zapdos. You prep for fun stuff in draft league and get punished. I'm gonna Dragon Dance in this thing's face. Let's do it. He should switch. I don't think he wants to give me his uh, heat train off rip. And again, I do love a hit. Anything he wants to go for. If he's timid max speed. Um, he has Magma Storm. Can tell me one of two things. Either A, he's a bulky set. And he wants to do the stupid Magma Storm plus protect shit. So, we'll see. Am I faster than Dragon Bolt? I don't remember. Hello, Sinistra. Are you a fucking... Alright, let's see. Dragon Bolt. Seven max speed. Gator. Tick tock. If you guys know this reference to the Gator, this is the Gator from Peter Pan. We do not outspeed it to mid max speed. Did I, was that an oversight? No, I just don't outspeed it. I just don't. It's because it's a Dragapult. Simply because he is a Dragapult. Now, he could Terastalize, right? So. um, Let me see something real quick. How much time do I have? 38 seconds. He could be a grass. He's a grass type now. Fairy Steel. How much damage do I deal with Terra Water Liquidation at plus one? To Sinistra. Let's just say he's max HP. It doesn't to it KO. That's kind of nuts. Ice Fang gives us our best bet, but if he Terra's into. He's still type, we're in trouble. I'm an Ice Punch. <sighs> Just don't tear into a... Man, this, this Terra fucking shit sucks. Fairy! Ah, oh, if I tear it in... Damn it. Liquidation had a chance to kill it. All right, so we're at minus one now. Which means we're neutral. Terra Water Liquidation still fucking obliterates this thing. Um, he could Strain Sap again for sure skis. I'm gonna Dragon Dance. And the reason I'm gonna Dragon Dance is because now I'm faster than the Dragapult. Um, and then if I end up in the max in the same position that I was before, it's just a stalemate. So it's just a net out for me. I end up getting faster than Dragapult, and I'll be neutral because Strength Sap reduces attack by one. So this allows me to, if he's for whatever reason, he shouldn't be in this matchup. But honestly, I need to cover my ass. I'm already in the back foot. I'm gonna get a Dragon Ant Sap so I can be faster than the Dragapult. If he goes for Strength Sap, we're fine. If he doesn't go for Strength Sap, we're gonna be able to live a hit um, and get off big damage next turn. If he goes to train sap here, we end up in the same spot. I'm just faster. Matcha gotcha. Okay. Doesn't crit us, which is fantastic. So now we Terra and we go for liquidation. This does kill. Um, priority he can have on his team. Uh, hit only fake out. Aqua Jet. No, he doesn't have the Aqua. What the fuck does he have? Sucker punch on Dragapult. This this should it's a it's a roll. It's a it's a roll in our favor. Well it's actually not in our favor, it's 25% chance to kill. If he's max Fizda. Boo baby, let's get it! Ah, let's go! Alright. No priority, we, we probably win this game. His Terra Captain's down. Not cheap, cheap. Not my boy. Save my boy. Cheap, cheap, or my girl, actually, she's female here. There's no way you have Sucker Punch, right? Why would you carry Sucker Punch?
I think we send it. 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 Let's go, Jaya. Let's go, Frogator. That, that, that crit does not matter. <laughs> that crit does not matter. No Rocky helmet. Let's go. For alligator. Ah! <laughs> Let's get it, baby boy. Let's go, Gator. Gator KO. Uh, Cha. And Pult. That is what we call in the industry a hey, fuck yeah. I didn't have anything else clever to say. <laughs> Gaga, what is Gaga? All right, Gaga, you shouldn't live a hit, right? I mean, at this point, we're just sending it, right? Liquidation, baby, let's get it. Scream tail. If you're defensive, not, if you're maxi, do you live this hit? Oh, he lives. Click like wish or something. That isn't clean, okay. So luckily enough, he did he did panic a, a little bit, he did panic a little bit, and gave us Dragapult, which is fantastic. Now, we can start doing it to him. Oh man, oh man. Scream, KO, Gator. Dude, Gator did exactly what we needed it to do, and that's all I can ask for. Um, how much damage would we do to... So, Great Tusk could run away with this game now. I believe so we're gonna go bedrock we're gonna get our booster energy I wish I had a spike up because the spike would have KO'd the screen tail there that is spike range <laughs> that's spike range ah all right so we're gonna find out what the screen tells about right for alligator at plus one uh, it didn't Die. So you're probably max fizz death. 252. I could have just got a low roll. He brought it in pretty quick on. Um, I don't think rapid spin kills. It is 16. If he's max fizz death, it doesn't kill. So. I'm gonna Stone Edge. Seeing if he brings in the Zapdos. He could save this. He could save this. For sure, Skis, he could save it. See if he wants to bring he should bring it. He should bring in the Zapdos here. He doesn't. Please hit the Stone Edge. Yes! Okay. I don't know anything about the Zapdos. We don't need the booster. Because he doesn't have pecs. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Tran's still alive, Zapdos is still alive, Ursulina is still alive. I need this, I outspeed all of them. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch on out here. Into Pheasant Dippity Doo Da Dippity A. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine heading my way. Zippity Doo Da. Watch me chew this shit. Oh! For breakfast, baby! That did a lot, though. <laughs> that did a lot. 255. That was three math time. Three thirty-three percent. Your max attack. That is what you are. That is what you are. We're gonna use her. Get some momentum here. We'll get a roost off later because he's gonna bring in Tran. And allows us to bring in Tusk. And I can click Stonage. Fire! That's the flame body I didn't want to happen. So he is flame body. Which makes Fizz and Dippity just a simple, a simple pivot now. E Tram. What's our course of action here? Offensive. <clears throat> mm. 
Hmm. Maybe we'll go Chimpa. Reason we go Chimpao is that now we have Tusk. He's leftovers. I kill you from full. But I don't think now is the time. I think I just needed to get my boy out of there. No. We sacred sword. If he's if he's if he's a if he's a max attack. Oh, he's not. He's max HP. Miss. Damn. So, I don't know if that was a throw, could have been, but I think we're still in an okay spot. Because Zoroark and now is in a prime position to really do some fun stuff here. So, let's see here. Shen Pao, Sacred Sword. He's max HP, 252. Yeah, he is max HP. So now he dies to a stone edge from Great Tusk. Yeah. So we're still we're still good. We're still in a fantastic spot, actually. We're stone edge. It covers the Zapdos coming in and it should kill this. <sighs> yeah. We're good. <sighs> Alternatives, I could have brought in Pheasantipity to get this in for free because Pheasantipity doesn't really do much for us. We knew he had Protect because he's got Magma Storm. Just put him out of range. Yeah, he's at like 50% now. Yeah, it does. So we have to close combat, unfortunately. Yeah, let's close combat. Close combat allows us to still be able to hit the... Uh, Ursaluna coming in if he does want to bring that in, as well as the Zapdos, because it will be Zapdos will be immune if he does decide to switch into Zapdos. I think now I hit what's in front of me, because may, he may think that he lives this hit. For me catching an overprediction on Zapdos, I are you kidding me? This is not. This is this is not this is not how this is not what we want right now. I'm glad that it didn't happen like all game. Which is good. Oh, we killed it. Cool. So we caught him on an over prediction, which is fantastic. Great. Great. That's what I was hoping. <laughs> Let's bring in La Toxica. See if he misses a. Uh, Okay. And if he's he should be like pretty speedy, right? He hits. Because who hits? Oh, and I'm confused. That is gonna suck. Please be faster. And please get this roost off. Pheasantipity, please. Should I roost or should I U turn? I want the toxic poison. What do you have left? Do I roost or do I U-turn? 
I mean, is there a world that I'm faster than you? That even matters. 297? They're like modest, I guess. This doesn't even probably matter. I am faster if you have no speed. So what's more important here? Probably the U-turn, right? Yeah, let's U-turn. Not faster anyway. Didn't matter. Okay. We go... Mysterio. I think throwing away Chin Pao may have done me in. I think I played that okay. Let me know what you guys think. Let me think here. Zapdos has He thinks I'm he thinks I'm great tusk, right? Yep. So Hurricane, I think our win con here. I have the nasty plot. I have the nasty plot and he has to miss a hurricane. Oh my god, surprise! Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> Ursa Luna. I mean, you know, we could do it again. Let's do it again. Nah, dude. This is what we needed. We grass not. Let's go! Zorak! Oh, he didn't die! He's the assault vest! Play rough! No! Oh, we live! Let's go, baby! Let's go! Let's go! He's assault vested. He's assault vested. Like Max Bidef. Max Bidef. Grass Knot. That should have done a lot. You are Max? Oh my god. You are Max Max Assault Vested, sir. Max Max Bidef Assault Vest. That is not the set I thought was going to come. Hyper Voice has a chance to kill. I'm going to go. F oh man, this is tough. This is a toughie. This is a toughie. 30, that's at 25. I think the play here now is the hyper voice. Yeah, we hyper voice in case he wants to go on an aggro switch. Yeah, in case he goes on aggro switch on, on, on Zapdos. Now we win the game. Oh my god, let's go the tech, baby! Ah, we won on the back of Zorark, baby! You know what's crazy? Is last season in, in week one of the BBR, I played Amol and this thing fucking did me in. And then now. We have, we have, we have the boy here now. We have the boy here and he caused the deception. Let's get it, boy. <laughs> ah, boom. Let's get it. Ah, ah, hoo, hoo, hoo. After the, I can't emphasize enough. That turn one crit was gargantuit. The whole game plan was to live that, that electric type move discharge. Assuming we didn't get a full para para, right? Which is like, you know. You get up a spike, live the hit, he's like, dang, I can kill cool fish. I would, at that point, be in range of the Custab Berry. I would get the priority Destiny Bond off and take out this Zapdos off rip with one spike on the field. Thus allowing for Alligator to kill that Screamtail from full at plus one, as you guys saw. So, that spike now being up, being the, one of the main game plans, uh, one of the main components of the game plan was really really bad that we couldn't get it up and i'm just i'm so i'm so i'm so glad we're gonna grass knot we're gonna make sure we win this game here ggs to my opponent please down in the description below will be a link to his youtube channel please watch this side of the battle this is one hell of a game we start off 1-0 let's carry this momentum i am ready to be back let's fucking play draft league hope you guys did enjoy smash the thumbs up button subscribe if you're new with that being said i'm gonna get the heck up out of here have a great rest of your day and above all else be nice peace